super uncomfortable with me being on his right side. Um, he's pushing his hind end out. He's trying to get in front of me. He's basically trying to push, you know, push around me. So I'm just going to, I'm going to get him back in still, but I want to back him up and push him out of my space. starting to move, you know, off of your leg and the neck reining and just teaching him to follow the feel and be soft. So I'm going to put it up against his neck. He obviously doesn't know what that means. I'm going to step towards him, start adding energy, smack him, just do anything to get him to move over. And I'm looking for his front feet, his shoulders to cross over in the front. Good. So he crossed over in the front. He took a bunch of extra steps. I'm not too worried about that right now. I, I want to reward the slightest try. Okay, get up, do it again. Good, good. Let's see if I can bring him back out. Avoid me. I'm going to bring his head around to stop his hindquarters and back him up right where we started again. He doesn't like standing right here for some reason, so we're going to stand here. Go to neutral. Relax. Lick and eat, chew in. I'll leave him alone. Maybe he loves me when I pet him. Maybe he doesn't want to be touched, but I'm going to release and give him a reward for standing there. All right. Start it again, move over. He got movement that time, so he under, he's recognizing he needs to do something, which is great. Uh, nope, can't step forward, I'm gonna ask him. Now he just got pushy, so I'm gonna back him off a little bit. Go back to asking, step over, step over. Stay steady with him. He's just trying to avoid, fine. Oh, good. Good boy. Soon as they're getting ready to step and cross over, I release to make sure he gets that reward. So one of my favorite reasonings for doing these type of exercises is you're teaching your horse to follow your feel and go off of your body pressure, um, your energy and all of that quiets their mind down. If you're used to being yelled and shouted at and screamed at, you're in a panic state of mind and you cannot think. So the goal of this is to keep it quiet and let their, give them the opportunity to make mistakes without being reprimanded too crazy. Um, you know, I'm not letting him walk in front of me. I'm not letting him walk, all, walk over me. I don't want his, right now when we're, especially on this right side, um, and I have a halter on and we are working, I do not want him in my space at all. But I do want my horse focused on me, paying attention to me, and basically just waiting. Like if I get ready to move, I want this. I want him looking at me like, hey, where are we going? If I walk into his space and I get too close, I want him to back off of me. Good, and then I'll give him that release. And we have, we have one step, kind of two steps here and there. 
but getting that nice pretty um, crossover step in the front and getting them to move to the reason you want the crossover step in the front is you want them to sit on their hind end and their front end just float over um, that way they're super light and easy to handle